good morning from Malaysia. <laughs> Today we're in the city of Georgetown on the island of Penang and we're only here for one day so we're gonna see what we can get ourselves into. So the city of Georgetown is super famous for all of its cultural sites, but it's also super famous for its weird and wacky museums apparently. So first on the list, this is something I've wanted to do. I don't really know anything about it, I've just seen photos, it looks hilarious. We are going to visit the Upside Down Museum. <laughs> The Upside Down Museum is a place where, from what I understand, you go in, you take photos, and then you flip the photos or video, whatever you do, and it looks like you're upside down. I don't know if it's just setups of a house or if it's setups of different famous scenery around the world. We're gonna check it out. <laughs> All right. You have to take your shoes off and then put stuff in a locker. <coughs> There's a little waiting room. You have a number. And they take three photos of you inside with your phone. Not camera. We'll see. <laughs> It was like seven dollars a person. What do you think? It's literally just for an Instagram picture. Yeah. Which Brayden didn't realize that going in. I did. <laughs> I didn't know. <laughs> what would you expect? It's just upside down stuff. Like, why is that so fascinating? I thought it was like set up like real scenes. That's all I thought it was. Like real scenes upside down. It is not. It's just like inside of a house and restaurants upside down. Like the postcard said, it's like you're in an upside down house. It's like, it's called the Upside Down <laughs> Museum. <laughs> a Buddhist temple, and a Catholic church, all within four blocks. That's how I like it. Yeah, it's just so different from like Thailand, you really only see Buddhist temples. Yeah. And actually most of the countries we've been to so far are Buddhist, but yeah, it's interesting. It's a nice change. I like melting pot. Me too. So in addition to all the fun, quirky museums, Georgetown is super famous for its street art. I love cities with street art. I feel like the best ones we've been to so far are Cartagena, Colombia, Mexico City, Mexico. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Maybe those are my two so far, so let's see if this one tops it. Yeah. This town's so freaking cute. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha 
Um, which one is real? <laughs> oh, hey dude. I wish I could let you out. Bye, buddy. Oh my gosh. I can't get over the heat. I'm a wimp, but <laughs> it's, oh. It is like 10 times closer to the sun. It's not really, but it feels like it. <laughs> it's 300 miles closer to the sun than where we just were. Hey, we are 355 miles closer to the equator. That's fair. It's really fair. It's so hot. I thought that we were adjusted to the mugginess and the humidity, which I think for the most part we are, but man, this place is just a different climate. But on the plus side, it's gorgeous. The colonial architecture, the art. After, you know, the course of the day, we did decide art definitely goes to Mexico City. Architecture definitely goes to Cartagena. This is an awesome mix of both. They had a baby and that's where Penang came from. <laughs> All the way in Malaysia. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, it wanted to get away from its parents. It's, uh... <laughs> Your mom's not gonna like that comment. <laughs> and it took you about 10 minutes to get my <laughs> The heat, it's just uh, got me uh, yeah. thinking very slowly. Uh huh. So over here behind us is where the resorts are and the beach. The water's kind of gross, so I don't think you should make this a beach destination. And then this way. Giant cruise ship. Is the port. All right, we found an authentic restaurant, we think. <laughs> I think I'm gonna get the chicken Maggie. I don't know what that is, but. It's like noodles and chicken. Okay. I'm sure it's fine. Uh, what the, what did we just order? I don't know, I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> uh -oh. It looks like a this. Oh man. Okay, so, so we got ice cream on accident. Not mad. Not mad. Oh my gosh, it's so good. The ice cream is kind of like praline. It's really good. And here is my chicken Maggie. Apparently it's just fried chicken noodles and some, it looks like vinegar cucumber. Looks awesome. I was right. It's the vinegar cucumbers that I'm obsessed with. The noodles almost taste like barbecue. It's really good and then fried chicken. Can't beat that. Alrighty, that's pretty. What's this? It's a um, sweet sauce chicken set. The rice comes blue. Yeah, I read that online that it's common. So I've decided this is my second favorite meal of the trip after Hong Kong. If you're in Georgetown, visit Project Nasi Lamak Box at the Esplanade. Well, Penang, you have been lovely. <laughs> the perfect day stop. Now we are headed to the Georgetown bus station. We bought our bus tickets yesterday on redbus.my. 38 ringgits per person, which is pretty good for a five hour bus journey. And we are headed to the capital city of Kuala Lumpur. <laughs> Can't wait to get on the road again. <laughs> Always moving. <laughs> so instead of taking the ferry back to Central train station where we arrived. We are going to a bus terminal on the island of Penang that will take us to Kuala Lumpur. So we don't have to worry about any of that hassle. We just get on the bus and go. All of the major bus companies are located under this guy. So if for some reason you don't know where to go, just look for this. 